Jesus understands us. In Hebrews chapter 4, the author of Hebrews is writing about spiritual rest and how Jesus is the key to spiritual rest. And in that context, we come to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15, where we learn some wonderful truths about how Jesus understands us. In verse 15, the author says this, For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted, as we are, yet without sin. So Jesus, our high priest, he can relate to us. He was tempted in all ways. In the wilderness, Satan launched three temptations. Temptation number one in the context of hunger. We heard the words, turn these stones to bread. That's the lust of the flesh. An inward yearning for something, often physical, that's not God's direction or not God's timing. Temptation number two in the context of being offered the world's kingdoms. We heard the words, I'll give these to you if you bow down and worship me. That's the lust of the eyes, seeing something that is not God's direction or God's timing and desiring to take it. And then temptation number three, in the context of being brought to the pinnacle of the temple. We heard the words, throw yourself down, angels will protect you. That's the pride of life, being in charge of our lives and putting God to the test instead of submitting our lives to God and allowing him to call the shots. In every way, Jesus was tempted. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And yet in every case, he was without sin. He never gave in. This is profound for three reasons. Reason number one, he can relate to us. He understands. When we're tempted, he knows what we're going through. He can sympathize. To sympathize means to have fellow feeling with. In other words, he feels our struggle. It also means to have compassion on. He cares for us. He can relate to us. Reason number two, he can empower us. Since he was tempted in all ways and yet without sin, and his spirit indwells us, he can help us say no to temptation. He can help us resist the evil one. He can empower us. And then reason number three, why this is so profound, is he can restore us. Since Jesus was sinless, he has paid for our sins. He's made provision for us, and he can restore us when we mess up. So Jesus can relate to us. He can empower us, and he can restore us. And thus we can approach him for mercy and grace in our time of need, our time of testing, our time of temptation, and in our time of faltering. Are you being tested at this time, tempted in any way, with the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, or the pride of life? Or have you been giving in to some temptation in your life? If so, draw close to Christ in order to seek fresh mercy and fresh grace. He can relate to you, he can empower you, and he can restore you. Jesus understands. Thanks for listening.